Hey guys, TKC here. Long time no see. Really sorry. I've been kind of dedicating my time to practicing for a KMC. You know, Texas is coming up really soon, and so I haven't really had much time to make videos. I've been kind of practicing and doing some other stuff. I need to catch up on all the news, and uh, apparently I think there were like four cards that were previewed. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and talk about all of them. So, believe it or not, on Thursday, they posted another preview right after the video I posted on Wednesday. And I should really get used to this because I think this is going to be a pattern forever now, basically. Because back when they were previewing Dragon Strike Infernus, they always did one preview on Wednesday, and then they did a Facebook preview on Thursday. So I think it's safe to assume that they're going to be sticking with this pattern for now anyways. So the card they previewed on Facebook on Thursday was Magma Dragon Milgars. This is a level 8, 11,000 power armor dragon, has double breaker and the ability Lava Breath. Whenever this creature attacks, you basically do Dragon's Breath. And I find it kind of funny because this effect is actually worded the way I expected Dragon's Breath to be worded, in that it actually says, Banish target enemy creature that has power 3,000 or less, then 2,000, then 1,000, instead of the Dragon's Breath card, which was like, Banish this, banish this, banish this, which was kind of weird. But anyways, now they kind of fixed it. Now it makes a lot more sense this way anyway. But yeah, it's basically Dragon's Breath in a body. It's definitely nothing to laugh at. I think just because you have to attack to get the effect off, it's not the greatest. But at the same time, it is pretty good. It has a lot of potential. I would have preferred if this card did the same thing as Dragon's Breath, but on summon and not on attack. That would be pretty crazy as an effect though, and that would probably jump up to like a level 10 or something like that uh or maybe like a level 9 with less stats than 11,000 maybe just like 6,000 or 7,000 or something like that definitely a cool very rare for the fire slot in very rares and to no surprise daniel tack also had a preview pretty recently actually and that card is Humonculon the Blaster. So we got another multi-civ creature to show off here. It is a Light Nature Enforcer Megabug with 3000 power. It's got Stun, which means when this creature enters the battle zone, tap target enemy creature. And it also has Empower, when this creature enters the battle zone, choose one of your other creatures. It gets plus 3000 power until the end of the turn. So this is pretty sweet. This is basically Blinder Beetle combined with Forest Hornet, and that's actually very, very good, I have to say. Um, you know, just tap in general is really good, and then, you know, the power is also really good. So basically, once you play this, and you have another creature on your side of the field, you're almost pretty much sure that you're going to get rid of that tap creature, because your other creature is going to be so much more bigger than it with the 3,000 power. Of course, you would want to play this as early as you can, so um, considering this is a part nature card, uh, I can definitely see ramp working with this to get this out sooner and just deal with their blockers or their early threats as soon as you can. Cards like the Firebirds, for example, you know, just get rid of the Firebirds as fast as you can, uh, attack over it with a Seneschal at 5,000 power, draw a card, you know, things like that. There's tons of really neat combos with just this card, and the fact that it's an Enforcer and a Mega Bug leads to some very awesome stuff. You know, you could use the Evolutions, of course, like Cobalt and Halon, uh, or even like Sparkblade Protector to power your dudes even more. Uh, or even Megabug, you know, you can even use the new Megabug evolution in combination with this. So, uh, yeah, definitely some very awesome possibilities just from this card. And uh, this is a rare, so yeah, very neat stuff. Now, in addition to this preview, we also got photos of the two competitive decks that are going to be coming out alongside Clash of Duel Masters. So, as you already know, the two decks are called Psychic Assault and Skycrusher's Might. But now we actually have the photo of the deck, and you see the three cards in the front like it always is. So let's start with the Psychic Assault one. So as you can see, the super rare here is none other than Finbar, or also known as General Finbar, which is super awesome. It looks a lot like Aqua Surfer, which is really cool. And it has a very similar ability as well. So, it's a level 6, we don't know the power yet. If I had to guess, it would be 2000. I really wouldn't be surprised, considering the Aqua Surfer card is 2000. And also, this Finbar card was in Rise of the Duel Masters and was also a 2000 power Cyberlord. So, it has two effects, and we can't really read all of them. We can read the first one, which is Finbar's Hover Hex. When this creature enters the battle zone, you may return target creature from the battle zone to its owner's hand. So, it's basically a Rusalka. But then it has another effect, which we can't read, sadly, but it's something like whenever 
another creature attacks something. Now, if I had to guess, maybe it would be the same effect over again. My main reason why I think it's going to be like that is because if you look at the Sky Crusher's Might deck, uh, check out the super rare in this one, which is General Sky Crusher, who has a very, very similar ability to Lord Sky Crusher from the Dojo Edition. So this one's a level 7 armor dragon, just like Lord Sky Crusher, and has the abilities Double Breaker, uh, Sky Crusher Saber, which I believe banishes a 3000 or less as it gets into play, and also as Sky Crusher's Command, uh, whenever one of your other creatures attacks, it gets powerful attack something, uh, which is similar-ish to Lord Sky Crusher in that it also powered up your other creatures. But that was only when Lord Sky Crusher attacked that you gave the power boost to someone else. So this one and the other card, the Finbar card, are going to be activated every time one of your other creatures attacks, not the main creature. So because of that, I'm thinking Finbar is basically going to have the same ability repeated, or just some other ability in general, maybe even draw. You know, it could be even draw as well. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much space on the card, so it could be whenever one of your other creatures attacks, draw a card. Uh, I guess that's going to be my official guess. It's going to be level 6, bounce a creature, whenever your other creatures attack, draw a card. So the Psychic Assault deck is going to be Light Water, and the Sky Crusher's Might deck is going to be Fire Darkness. Very awesome stuff. And lastly, Thunder Sultan also got two previews and he showed off recently on his YouTube channel. And one of them is actually one of the cards I just showed on the Psychic Assault deck. And that card is Panopter. So Panopter is excellent. It's a level 5, 4000 power battle sphere. It has Blocker, Skirmisher, and the ability Spy Network. Whenever one of your other creatures that has Blocker enters the battle zone, you may draw a card. So, Rally the Reserves decks are gonna absolutely love this card. This card is insane for those decks. Because in Rally the Reserves decks, you usually want to have a ton of blockers and then play Rally the Reserves so that all your blockers can basically break shields. And considering you're going to be using a deck with tons of blockers, this card is a really, really good draw engine for the deck. You can play Panopter, and then you play basically all your blockers, and you just replace those blockers that you just played from your hand with a new blocker or a new card, and you can just keep the chain going. And you could also play another Panopter, draw another card off the first one, and then every blocker you play draws you two cards. So the Rally decks have gotten a huge boost thanks to Panopter, and that's really, really awesome to see. This is also a very rare, so I believe this is going to be the only very rare for the Light Water slot. Uh, but of course, there are the four other slots as well as the four other mono civilization slots because I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work. And the second card that Thunder Sultan previewed was a simple common, Memory Keeper. It's just a level 2, 2500 vanilla that has the races Storm Patrol and Cyber Virus. So there's definitely some potential there. You know, just the 2500 power is nothing to laugh at. And it's cheap bait for whenever Storm Patrol or Cyber Virus evolutions uh, come out, basically. And I'm pretty sure those are going to be really soon, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's in this set as well as the rares or something like that. So, yeah, definitely very good bait for uh, future evolutions. Definitely something to look out for. Alright, so that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I wanted to get uh, all those previews out of the way because I was kind of running late there. Wednesday, more news, and I'm sure there'll be a lot more previews all over the place, including a couple from me. I'm actually going to have two previews up on the official website as well, and I believe my previews are going to be up May 15th, which is kind of far away from now. And I believe that's also the week before the set comes out. So yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. And then I believe CVH and others are also going to have previews on the site as well. Also, one more last thing before I go. The Darkness set review will be up shortly, soon. I don't know when. Uh, I was really busy this weekend. I really couldn't uh, work on it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to catch up and get that out there as well. And then, of course, the other two civilizations will follow the next two weeks. And then I'm off to Texas uh, to meet the Texas people, and I'm really excited for that. So I'm going to leave with just one more question for you guys in the comments below. Post what your favorite allied multi-civilization pairing is. So, like I said in my last video, uh, the allied civilizations are going to be Light Water, Water Darkness, Darkness Fire, Fire Nature, and Light Nature. Um, so out of those five, which one is your favorite? Uh, go ahead and explain why if you want, and uh, maybe uh, some decks you plan on making with those. Alright guys, this is TKC, the Kajito channel, signing off. Have a nice day guys. See you later.